guys I'm back with another one and in this one I'm going to take a look at iFlight's Nazgul 5 uh, bind and fly version uh, of the uh, multi-rotor so I'll be going over the electronics uh, the frame itself FPV equipment and what's most important for you guys that are buying uh, bind and fly versions uh, of the frame I'm going to configure it and bind it to the transmitter so yeah let's go so to the uh, multi-rotor uh, itself it has a pretty nice Nazgul 5 frame that is really 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 solid really good quality the uh, CNC uh, machining on the frame is really exceptional and you can tell by the feel and the look of the drone that that this is really really uh, thought through so it has pretty nice electronics uh, it has pretty nice uh, FPV equipment all in all if you're just starting out this is the best version of the ready-to-fly frame or drone you can buy hands down if I'm going to build the drone myself I would use if not the same but pretty pretty similar electronics and everything as this is right out of the box so uh, the drone comes actually without the antenna tubes mounted uh, this sticky pad for your lipo and of course the props and the antenna so uh, I'm not going to to show you how to screw on the antenna but it's yeah pretty much self-explanatory so all all you need to do is put on the antenna antenna tools and uh, the strap uh, screw down your propellers and you're ready to go so um, for the electronics um, it has I have a 6s version uh, it has a 2207 zinc um, e uh, series of motors it has Nazgul iFlight Nazgul props um, it has f4 flight controller it has a 45 uh, amp ESC uh, and it has uh, 6 100 milliwatt uh, VTX. All the electronics are for uh, from iFlight, and as you already know, they are pretty exceptional uh, quality and really reliable uh, electronics. So there's nothing to add, or that I would actually wanted to do differently. Um, again, uh, we have the Cadex Rattel camera. Uh, I made uh, already the review of the camera comparing it to the uh, Runcam's uh, Eagle 2 and they are pretty much on, on par with the picture quality and everything else. Also uh, it already comes with all the TPU parts for protecting the arm tips uh, to holding your antenna and uh, receiver antennas. Um, perfectly aligned in forward flight and, in, and it also has some TPU bumpers on the front yeah as I said there's not much that I would do differently if I'm going to to build a drone for myself piece by piece so all the electronics are, are top-notch the actual assembly of the drone all the all the soldering and ev everything is pretty much perfect so yeah good job i flight so in the next step i will going to bind it up to the uh, Tyrannis um, tx and configure the drone uh, in the better flight uh, configurator so yeah let's go do that in this step I'm going to configure the transmitter uh, so 
if you in this step I'm going to uh, configure the transmitter so if you follow these steps step by step you are going to configure all the switches and everything that is needed for uh, better flight configuration so um, first of all you s simply click page button uh, in model name you can uh, program the model's name you are going to use and with the wheel you are going to go to the bind setting um, so uh, one uh, important thing you need to have D16 set at the, as uh, your mode but it's already pre-configured you, you simply need to scroll to the bind and press it down select with tele telemetry on one more press and the transmitter is going into bind mode you have the beeps ready so next step is to set the receiver into bind mode so to to put the receiver in bind mode you need to press down on this button and you can feel the tactile feel when the button is actually pressed and while holding down the button pressed you need to connect the lipo so we have now bound the transmitter and receiver and in the next step I'm going to uh, program the switches we are going to use for our flight modes um, and arm switch so you click the page button and you go to the mixer tab in the mixer tab you are going to set these are your uh, channel 1, 2, 3, 4 are your your stick inputs and in channel 5 we are going to program your arm button so in order to do that you simply click the scroll wheel go to the source and click it now the transmitter is listening to all the uh, switch inputs and will activate or set the switch you are going to, to use uh, as the switch are we are configuring so if I click this switch it automatically reads SF switch and I'm going to name that switch as arm switch so so we have that ready now we are going to do the same steps for uh, all the switches we are going to use now we set arm switch mod switch and buzzer switch so let's go on to the beta flight setup so uh, for the beta flight setup you have opened your beta flight configurator uh, next is you put the USB in a USB plug and it opens this window um, uh, I suggest not to immediately uh, connect the LiPo since the VTX is getting uh, really hot uh, when stationary so we will use the LiPo in the section we, where we set up our modes so in this uh, window you actually don't need to calibrate the accelerometer since it's laying somewhere on the side and it's actually uh, good if you are not going to add any um, uh, stuff to your URs or your drone it's already uh, preset as the BTX is set to UART1 uh, as your uh, smart audio uh, connection configuration 
what is really important to note is that the motor direction is reversed so the props are spinning what I like to um, visualize myself away from the camera and away from the uh, VTX antenna everything else you need to leave at stock is already set to this shot 600 is uh, your gyro update frequency and everything else is already set up uh, if you like you can change the OSD name to your liking and also what I suggest to do is change arming angle to 180 degrees so you can arm the um, uh, drone if you are not perfectly or at least 25 degrees at an angle so everything else is set the way it's supposed to before any changes you need to save and reboot the flight controller so uh, in the battery section it's already everything's preset bit tuning don't mess with anything it flies perfectly the way it is so uh, the receiver that's what we need to to uh, configure so you need to plug the flyboy in please take off your props so um, you can see the little drone here moving as I move my my sticks so you can check it's if everything is okay and to check that you simply put all your no, both of your sticks to the top and to the right so all the bars should be in their highest and if you put all the sticks to the bottom and the left it should be to their lowest and you can check your 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 uh, switches by clicking them okay so this is aux 1 I have aux 2 and I have aux 3 already set as my beeper so you can check if everything is correct so you can fly this drone roll pitch yo so everything is set up correctly um, so one more thing I like to do is set the stick low threshold to to it so to kill the, all the dead band I have on my throttle um, I have already configured the the modes, but let's clear everything up. So uh, to add uh, arm switch, you need to simply click add range and click the switch. So this is your arm switch. You see this this little yellow dot moving as you move the stick so in its arm state you need to slide the this part to be to correspond with your arm uh, to your switch position so uh, next I will um, add the modes so angle and horizon mode angle mode locks your your maximum allowed angle um, to a certain degree and horizon mode doesn't do that but always uh, brings your your uh, drone to you to the level so simply add range click the the desired switch and we need to set the we will do the angle as the second position we will do the horizon as the first option and you simply align these these two dots not to 
crossover. So we have horizon, angle mode, and this is manual. So no, no stabilization at all. And also the beeper is set at OX3 as, as I already explained. So if you save it, you will have your your modes configured. Um, you can check the motors. Please take off your your props. We can test the motors. You can click and you can hear the motors spin. You can set your OSD, but it, it already comes prefigured. So if you are novice, leave leave uh, everything uh, like it is. So better voltage, battery current, uh, um, milliamps drone, and average cell voltage. You have craft name enabled, and your alarm. So that's nothing to go over here. Let's trip if you uh, if we didn't add any LEDs. So yeah. We are not going to mess with that. Black box is whole new territory, and CLI. If you are novice, don't go there. So disconnect and take it for a spin, which is what I'm going to do next. Flight. There's nothing much to say about it, but it's the best find and fly model you can buy today. So get yours in the link below.